used to just talking loudly in my classroom. My name is Renee Worley, I teach ceramics at New Americano, and I am so proud of these students here and me, um, for doing this translation showcase. It's been three years since we've done this, and uh, we're kind of green again, a little rusty, but here we go. Uh, we have eight groups of students comprised of 2D visual art, poetry, ceramics, music, and video. And they're all going to present tonight, um, basically one group at a time. Here is the program to follow along, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm so proud of these students. I know you are too. So give them a warm welcome. Thank you. with the two sides to this, to kind of cover themselves up, whether that be like a personality or an emotion. So basically the moral of this piece is that things and people are just not how they seem on the outside. Good evening, everyone. I would like to welcome you to Translation Showcase, and I would also like to say that without the help of everyone involved, this could not be possible. And I would like to personally thank Zach, Isabella, Michaela, Neil, Shaley, and Dylan for helping me put this piece together for you tonight. Our inspiration from the poem Pink was that someone hides their face behind a mask, and it's false. But then at the end of each movement, we have a major section which reminds people that being yourself is the most important. Thank you.
plastic. A shiny pink facade to disguise a cracked foundation. Barely secured by string and duct tape and crumbling from building tension. Coming to learn that people don't want to see underneath an iridescent mask, for beauty is more pleasant to the eye. So rosy cheeks hide an ever more cracked core. Lips disguised a perpetual frown. Radiating stars strike from a black hole within. While well, unable to see life in pink. Rather only trapped in a world of monochrome gray. Wanting to cry out inspiration, but gagged by their own mask.